Well, it's Friday. I hope you're having a good week and I hope you've had a good week and uh, just getting ready for a good weekend, especially Mother's Day that's coming up. A uh, special time for us to remember our moms and to celebrate our moms if uh, they're still alive. But today we look at uh, not being ashamed of suffering. You know, suffering comes to us, and as we've said before, suffering isolates us. We feel isolated, confused, lonely, separated from people, and sometimes we don't want to tell people uh, that we're suffering. It's hard to tell somebody that you're suffering because it feels like a failure. And uh, when you're suffering, it's not a failure. It's a part of life. And I think we have to be very careful not to do that. And so, uh, you know, we, we, we just need to be aware of, uh, of, of all of that. So uh, let, him, let, him, let us see what he says in verse 16 to 1 Peter chapter 4. But if anyone suffers as a Christian, interesting, I think there's only three times in Scripture that we're called Christians. But Peter has taken up the word. He said, if anyone is called Christians, let him not feel ashamed, but in that name, let him glorify God. The opposite of shame when we suffer is to really glorify God. Now, it's, suffering is not good. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not pleasant. It's not something we would call for. But in the midst of it, we can rejoice because God knows the solution to our suffering. I think that's very interesting. But he says, don't be ashamed of this. Is it easy to be ashamed of being a Christian in any generation? Absolutely, yes. Because we don't want people to revile us or malign us. We don't want people to talk about us. We want people to like us. And we're afraid, you know, if, if we let them know we're Christians, then maybe they won't hire us or speak well of us or think uh, well of us. And I've experienced that, and so have you. And um, what he says is, when you go through suffering, that's not the time to be ashamed of being a Christian. It's not like God has somehow failed you. It's that God is, in fact, using anything in your life, but especially suffering, to create more faith for you, a deeper faith, faith with understanding and wisdom and knowledge, a deeper relationship with Him. And so he says, don't be ashamed of that, he goes on to say, but in, the, in that name, in the name Christian, in the name Christ, let Him glorify God. And so if you're suffering today and you can turn that over to the Lord in prayer and praise and say to the Lord, Lord, you take this for your glory and your honor, then that's right in the will, will of God. That's right where he wants you to be. It's difficult to do, but not impossible. And so here's a command of scripture. So the next time you're suffering or if you're suffering right now, don't be ashamed of that. It's not that you have to tell everybody, but use that as an occasion to glorify God and to learn who he is, and how you can relate to him. It's the way of God to do the most unusual things. Heavenly Father, thank you that in Jesus' name as we suffer, that we can glorify you, even in our broken bodies and broken spirits and struggles that we have, we can glorify you. And so today we glorify you despite our obstacles that we face in this life. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>